You guys, hello, welcome back to another episode of Sean's First Time Eating. Today, a wild one. Something that I did not even know existed until Erin Bell, let's give it up for her right now. She dropped a donation, gave me a ton of suggestions, and I've been on this like Korean H Mart kick. So I went there, if you saw the vlog, I picked up some lotus root, which grows sunken down into like the bottom, the muddy part of a pond or a river, and you can eat them. <laughs> They're packed full of vitamin B6, vitamin C. I think they lower your blood pressure, which we all know I desperately need. So rather than just doing something super clickbaity, I thought we'd learn a little bit today and uh, braise up some lotus root. Look at these damn things. Looks like a game you'd see on the table at like Cracker Barrel or something. Aaron, thank you so much for donating. We're gonna steam some rice. Got that all prepped earlier in the rice cooker. Rinsed it, tossed it in, and 25 minutes will be good. By the end of this, we should have a sticky, sweet, umami -y lotus root on top of some amazing sticky rice. So I washed it, I used the classic ladybug vegetable scraper. Why is it classic? My mom called me Bug Bug growing up. Aww. You're a bitch. Then we peeled it with a potato peeler to get this nice white exterior, a little spotted looking. And now we gotta chop it into like quarter inch, beautiful little, they look like mini hubcaps. Like if Stuart Little was gonna trick out his car. I was on my way to 125th. I saw this death then, yo, that's my man Cliff. You can really see how beautiful this thing is already, but let's go ahead and... Almost like how thick you'd want a potato if you're doing like potato medallions for like a breakfast or with a steak. Here's kind of what I'm thinking here. Quarter inch. And everything I saw, you're supposed to really like one, one smooth motion. <laughs> <laughs> Cuts his own head off. Edit somehow gets done anyways and they upload it. Oh, uh, hell yeah, I would still upload that. Are you kidding me? Do you know how viral, how crazy viral a YouTuber cutting his own head off in a cooking video would go? You're a sick bastard. Well, I mean, what do you want me to say? Daddy's got to eat. Taking care of priority numero uno over here. These look so cool. How is this food? What am I talking about? How are SpaghettiOs food? <laughs> Man, this guy's really obsessed with SpaghettiOs. Won't stop talking about them. <laughs> it's kind of got the crispness. It's like cutting into an apple if the apple was made of like part steel. <laughs> okay, thanks for showing up to work today. You can go home. Did I schedule you? All right, there we have our sliced up lotus root, looking very good. Erin, do you eat this a lot? She's in Boise, Idaho. It's a state, and there's a city called Boise. Um, <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you get this a lot? What was the motivation to start getting lotus root? I've seen it in like stir fries in Asian cuisine, but never really had it, so. All right, we're gonna soak these in cold water for five minutes, based on people that actually know what they're doing. They did this a lot, so now I'm doing it. Steal like an artist. I could be at a science fair right now. You wouldn't know the difference. We're gonna boil some water. All right, time to strain the lotus root out of the ice bath we gave it. Shake it off. And then we're gonna put it into the boiling water. We're gonna add three tablespoons of white vinegar, a couple healthy pinches of salt. We're gonna stir this a little bit and then we're gonna bring it up to a boil and let it cook for 10 minutes. All right, while that's cooking and that's boiling, let's go ahead and make our braising liquid. What's gonna really give it that flavor? All right, cup of water. There's a more effective way to do this part. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little over a half a cup of soy sauce. Then we're gonna do six tablespoons of sugar. And then five tablespoons of corn syrup. And then when you have a checkup with your doctor, you don't mention this. <laughs> I parallel it to an interstate freeway. It goes on and on and on. And then a mix of all this while hand holding the camera, multitasking, earning the paycheck. Okay, I'm gonna strain this, it's been 10 minutes. Get all the excess water out of there. They're so much softer. And then our liquid mix is going in a pan. We're gonna get this hot. 
medium high. This is right what we want. This is gentle boil. We do not want to return a Rory boil. He punched me in the chin the other night. We're not going to talk about it. This is as much less aggressive, still dangerous, but less aggressive gentle boil. So we're going to go ahead and throw our delicious looking lotus roots in that have been just chilling and letting the rest of the water kind of spill out. Do this like an adult. All right, so those are going in. I'll cover these to coat them all. Looking good. Now we're cooking on medium high 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. It's been bubbling and just aromaticing. New verb I made up. The room, it's looking amazing. So now we just want this to kind of thicken and everything. So we're gonna put this down to like a medium low for 20 minutes and just let it just thicken. From everything I've seen, we want it almost looking like a syrup at the end. Yo. Less ego and more soul Trying to make it clear like a sore throat They too concerned about my wardrobe But they going broke We've been praying for it only Lord knows Just got an invoice you had about four O's Pick the locks when the doors close This is my house, f*** a foreclose We staying in control, f*** the hormones Come outside the hood, look like a war zone Come buzz my check everything We've had a very productive last 20 minutes We did all the dishes We plated, we bowled I'm bowled over Name that movie. I'm bowled over. <laughs> sticky white rice, the lotus root that smells and looks incredible, nice and sticky. We added some sesame seeds, a little bit of chives to zhuzh it up. And it's just looking like a rock solid 10. Very popular in stir fries, very popular just to eat with rice. I kind of see this as a substitute for a lot of people instead of a meat, just a very healthy vegetable that we put a bunch of sugar on. <laughs> So now my first time trying this. Never had lotus root. I'm pretty like jacked about it. Cool. <laughs> Whatever. I want you to stick out your hand and close your eyes. I got a surprise for you. All right, Aaron Bell. Thank you for the donation. I never would have done this. Wow. Oh, it's so crunchy. Mm-hmm. I can't believe we braised some lotus root on a Friday. I understand why they put it in stir fries. It's got a good texture, a good crunch, kind of like green peppers would for like a chicken stir fry. That is so flavorful. Mmm. Oh, I'm a fan of this. Oh, Korean food is just the best. It's almost like, it's like the texture of eating like really crispy onions and rice. <laughs> A lot of chews. I'm getting like a, my jawline is gonna be shredded. This recipe is great. I'll link the YouTuber whose recipe I followed. He's a badass, he lives in Seoul. Very easy to understand cooking video that helped me do this today because I have no idea how to make this. His channel's called Future Neighbor and I wish he was my neighbor because I want to cook with him. I need like a Mr. Rogers type living across the hall. How do we do that? I'll tell you what, being able to cook this new stuff and try this because of the show, like, this is so rewarding for me. I was kind of worried because I'm like not a chef. And even following that recipe, I was like, am I not gonna keep it crispy? I thought I was gonna bite into this and it would be like kind of soggy, but I overcooked it. Sure didn't. That slow and low cooking method, I mean, because really it was on the stovetop for like 45 minutes. Just capturing like ash ketchup, all those polka flavors, you can unsubscribe. You can do whatever you want. The, lo the world is your lotus root, dude. What's the matter with you guys? And then you put that on top of just some sticky rice. I would legitimately buy these for a stir fry in my house. And you know my love of H Mart and how much I wanna keep going back there. I even have people donating for me to get specific things from H Mart, like food that's already ready to go. So I'd imagine I'm gonna be going there a while. So I'm gonna get Lotus Root while it's in season and seriously put this in stir fries at home. It's so texturally competent. <laughs> what a way to describe something. Also, shout out sesame seeds. Guys, if you had lotus root, what's your experience with it? Make sure to clapping emojis to Aaron Bell in the comments below for this donation, for this video being made, for me getting out of my comfort zone and cooking something that I was a little nervous about. And we got there and I'm so proud of this. It turned out perfectly. I can't believe I got there, but I need to start believing myself. Or maybe not, the doubt pushed me harder to be great. You are one pathetic loser. See you tomorrow for a brand new video. New video every single day in February until the donations stop rolling in. So we got some, some more queued up for sure. Very excited about that. So come on back, make this show a part of your daily life because it's very much a part of mine. <laughs> Cheers to vegetables slash roots, weeds that form. This was in the mud of a pond somewhere.
No, it's in my mouth. What the hell did we just watch this guy eat on camera? Are you with me?